Good morning, day fam. Well, welcome to today. It is 11.15 on a Monday. You guys are probably watching this on Tuesday. And it is cold and dreary outside, but we are having a happening day. Today is all about getting my house back to order because there is no time on the weekend for any kind of cleaning. Say hi, dustpan. People are asking to see you more in the videos. Say hi, this is the most annoying cat, I'm telling you. She's your best friend, Ruby, I know it. She is your best friend. Uh, Ruby loves our cat. I've been organizing and cleaning and just getting all the normal chores done. I've also been trying to book Ruby in to get her hair cut, but nobody answers their phone. It's a super busy trade, that's for sure. So this girl absolutely needs her hair trimmed before any time passes, huh? Yes. And stuff's going on with me. What's going I'm on with you? With the puppies. Yeah, so tell them what's happening right now. Toby's running around forever now. Toby's running around, doesn't know what to do with himself. So basically, uh, Toby's always been on the couch because his um, a diaper has never really been a really good fit for him. So sometimes he gets out of it and so we don't let him run around. He stays in his bed and he stays on the couch. He can't jump down. But now that I ordered three new diapers for him, belly bands for him, um, they fit really tight and they're so much better. We put his bed on the ground and he's learning like all the rules of the house. Are you excited? Are you excited to be down? Basically, he just follows Cookie around <laughs> like a lost puppy dog. Toby was out for crates, and Toby was in his crate. Yeah, so, so I've been teaching him when I say go to bed, 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 watch out, bed, see? And then there's his bed, good girl, for teaching him. Good girl, you're so good for teaching him. Good boy, you learned what bed means. And she's like, yes, I'll do whatever you say as long as you rub me. But isn't that so cool? Do you love him running around? It's weird. It is weird. The other dogs have always just been, run, they always just run around the house because they don't go to the bathroom in the house. Um, the reason that Toby has a belly band, some of you guys have been asking, is because he's not fixed. And the reason he's not fixed is because he's really tiny and has a heart issue. So he's not a good candidate for being fixed. So um, unfixed male dogs tend to mark their territory, especially when there's girls around. And so he will pee on stuff if he has an opportunity to. He's really good for being an unfixed dog. He doesn't do it too much, but we have to be extra careful. Sophie just shot a video for her channel. Gabby's still reading because she's a lazy bones today. Took forever to get ready, but you'll never believe what happened. I was trying to get all my stuff done today and we got a message from our trainer and what happened? Oh, um, so the bottom field got out. Oh, Sabrina's field got loose today and I wish we were there to see it. It was crazy. She said, you guys have seen in our videos how we leave their gate all the way open and they all run in on their own. Well, they had to, they're doing a new thing where you have to push the gate in so that it doesn't go across the walkway there and all the horses ran out like usual and as she went back in to let other horses out and she came out and they had all come back out through the gate and gone into the backfield where the outdoor riding arena is going to be this summer and they were all running around and she was thinking oh my gosh so she went to get them and they ran into the neighbor's field a big huge farm field and they were galloping around this huge field our two horses that don't do anything like that they were galloping around anyway she said she could not catch them and they went all over in that field and they were just galloping around like happy little kids running and finally the only way she caught them she got some grain who do you guys think came first who do you think came to the grain I know who you're thinking but you're that's not the person so she brought out the grain and the only one to come up to her was Storm. Storm. Storm came up and was like, I'll take some grain. And then after Storm was caught, Sabrina's like, I'm going with him. So she came in and she put those two back in the field. And then she went out and she caught Lady and she put Lady in the field. And then eventually the ringleader of the whole thing was Nikki. Nikki. She led them all out there. So anyway, she caught them all and she put them all back in the field. And she they was, trotted past the highway. But they weren't on the road. They were on it. They tried to rape you. Yeah, it's a, like a closed in area. They were really safe, but they were in somebody else's yard. Imagine you woke up in the morning and you looked in your backyard and there were horses galloping around in your yard. Would you love that? We would love yeah, that. Yeah, I go out yeah. there quickly get dressed, get 
No. No, I quickly build well, a I just out. throw on my my boots over top of my pajamas and I run out there. Yeah, I don't want to see them. I gallop around with them. Yeah. No, I got a whip. Lunch, 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 lunch. No, I like, quickly build a fence that I could keep them. Yeah, we'd be like, hey, your horses came on our property, now they're ours. Ha 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 ha. ha, ha, ha. <laughs> right? But I definitely go for Sabrina. Yeah, I'd go for Sabrina. I, I'd go for Storm too. I, for I, I like Storm. all those horses. Those are all some of my favorite I horses. Yesterday, when the girls were playing in the field, they found a shoe, a horseshoe. One of the girls said, oh, that's Yuri's shoe. So we took it up with us and left it on the table. And then this morning, Fiona said, whose shoe is that? And I said, oh, it's Yuri's. No, it's not Yuri's shoe. Who's sure? Whose shoe is it? <laughs> Storms? Yeah. So our horse probably had one shoe yesterday and we didn't even know. See that field over there? That huge field all the way down there. See it? The huge farmer's field. That's the field that our horses were galloping around today. Look! Friends! Ben and Storm, they made friends the other day. Oh! No, Storm hates them. Oh! Don't rip our blanket! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Oh. All right, so this looks like mud, but it's just dried dirt. No water in it. So uh, this is where the horses got out this morning. They came down. They rode, they ran all around here, got through a gate over there, and then ran that massive field over there. I'm really glad that it was with her instructor and not me, because literally I would lost my mind if I lost all those horses. Storm, I can't believe you blew a shoe. Like what? We've had him six days? Six days and he blew a shoe. Nine. Nine days? Nine days, Storm. And it happened yesterday. It's this one. The nails aren't there. Yeah, you blew a shoe. He's like, you should have noticed. Give me some time. Right. Give me some time to get stronger. Lameness test number two. Okay. Just give me a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna win The struggle we're in It's never goodbye It's never goodbye till it's over Alright, so you blew a shoe How does this foot look? Oh. Good Is it hard to get that one off? It's on tight It's on tight? Leaving without saying Teasing without playing
Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step Oh, he likes the hay now. He just didn't like the icing. I didn't like the hay. Here. No? Oh, that's funny. Wait until, wait until he swallows that. We don't mind any choking ponies. Uh, Gabby, you can ride Sabrina. You can't ride Storm. Or you just want to walk him? Okay, hurry up. So, how was your first lesson together? I loved it. Gabby gets nervous because she doesn't really trust Storm yet because she doesn't know him well enough and you kind of get her going. I got carrots here. He's like, I want the carrots. It's going in your feed pen. So lots of ups and downs with this boy. Losing his shoe. That's probably the whole problem with him acting funny because the foot that he was acting funny on the other day was the foot that the shoe fell off. So no wonder we had problems, right? He was losing his shoe and he's trying to tell us. Anyway, the farrier will be here soon and he's going to get them pulled, I guess. Um, that's what our instructor wants to do. She wants to pull them at his old house. He wore shoes only in the summer, just for show season. He didn't wear them in the winter. Anyways, so I was commenting about how many cuts he has and how hard it is. And people are saying, you can't bubble wrap him. I want to bubble wrap him. Like, he's so pretty and he's so gentle. And I don't want him to get hurt. It bothers me. So anyway, today when we came, there was no other geldings in his uh, field now. They moved to Millhouse, who was the... Um, and our instructor said that he's been loving being the only boy that... Yesterday the other girls were like get away from me because they loved the other boy and today the girls were all cuddling up to him so Hopefully that will do the trick and he won't get any more bites Also, I talked to a friend about the uh, bumps on him and probably they are bug bite associated and um, I talked to our instructor and we're gonna get some special medicated wash for him but the problem is that we can't wash him right now because it's winter here it's still too cold so yeah we got it all under control all the ups and all the downs but we're still managing right storm he's such a good horse though so did you love it today yeah. people were like what's happening what's that girl in there why is she all in red did i miss the memo he is such an easy horse he starts walking a little bit too fast for me and I like say hey and he's like oh I'm so sorry. This must be the dewormer that they are using this time. Some people have been asking about deworming. Our barn does it every three months and they alternate dewormer so that they get rid of everything. He's like I'll run with you. 
<laughs> He's like, come on, do you have treats or do you not have treats? <laughs> okay, bad news. I keep forgetting to update you guys. Today's been a day for updates. Um, the horse that we we're supposed to go see on Wednesday. Um, basically, they had a lot of people, like 12 people who wanted to come see her. And they said they're going to let every single person have a turn. And then um, take offers on her after. And like the first person that went there bought her. And they emailed us and said, sorry, we decided that she really needed to go to this good home. And so, yeah, now we're not seeing the horse. So sad. Yeah, so sad. Not meant to be, though. After having Storm, though, don't you think we'd do better with a gelding? No. The geldings are so nice. You grow. Don't let it get. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.